Moms with diabetes, whether it be type 1, type 2, or gestational diabetes, are more likely to cook large babies. And it's because if your blood sugars aren't well controlled during your pregnancy, you have a large amount of blood sugar circulating. And this is getting to the baby as well, so they can grow extra large from having that extra sugar. And it causes complications after delivery because their body is normal. They are producing insulin, which is like a key that unlocks cells to put the blood sugar into the cell. And so their, their body's response to this large uh, amount of sugar is to produce a lot of insulin. And this is great and what their body should do while they're inside of you. But once they're born and not getting all of that blood, all of that sugar, um, they still have a high level of insulin to compensate for that and it causes their blood sugar to rapidly drop. And a lot of babies born to mothers with diabetes struggle, struggle with their own blood sugar after delivery. So the people who are taking care of your newborn will likely be in tune with this and be watching your newborn for signs of complications. But as for how, how big your baby's likely to be, who knows? It's hard to say, and the chances of your baby being large are reduced by you controlling your blood sugars well during the pregnancy. So if your doctor's recommended a certain diet, make sure you follow that. And if your doctor's recommended medication to control your blood sugars, make sure you're taking that as prescribed and checking your blood sugars as frequently as your doctor has um, suggested as well. It's likely that in your third trimester, you'll go to see some specialists that will watch you and the baby for signs of complications from diabetes. Um, usually your doctor will have you go to a specialist called a perinatologist to make sure that your baby's growing well and um, that the pregnancy overall is going well. They'll probably also have you talk with diabetic educators that will um, have you keep a log of your blood sugars and have you come in and discuss um, any complications or issues you're having with them. And your doctor is also likely to have you get frequent non-stress tests where you come in um, and they put your baby on the monitor, meaning they watch your baby's heart rate and your contraction pattern for a short period of time to make sure your baby has enough oxygen and is doing well. If you have any other specific questions about your condition or about the things I've mentioned, be sure to talk to your doctor and, and ask how they apply to you. But if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.